Well, good morning and welcome to Community United Methodist Church Worship. I'm Pastor Stan Cardwell and I'm in my backyard for this last message that we get to share together. Pre-recorded message. Uh, this is uh, uh, the last one that we're going to do by video. And so I thought I'd go back out to the place where we started. We've been in a series called Bless Your Neighborhood, Practicing Five Small Habits of Great Love. And that falls out of Mother Teresa's quote, We cannot all do great things, but we can all do small things of great love. So we begin to live out this gospel in a new way. And so again, this is the last pre-recorded message. Wow, it's been a long journey, hasn't it? We started outside doing a lot of this stuff, and then I moved inside through the winter, and I thought, let's come back outside, and everything kind of worked out. Message is a little long today. Uh, take it in two parts if you have to. Uh, but please do watch, especially towards the end. I have a great story of a, of a man who uh, helps abuse children, and uh, I think you'll be blessed by it. So fill out the Connect card. Sign up for the Community Connection. Please continue to give and bless our church as you've been doing. And uh, again, rem reminder, some of the stuff going on, the website has these links, so check them out. And sign up and register for a prayer room slot. Be part of our prayer ministry going on. Uh, we're, we're joining with Lectio 365 24-7 prayer and uh, doing some uh, neat stuff together to pray as a church. That's going to be the fuel for everything that's changing. VBS registration. There's also a drama camp coming up on August 6th to, 2nd to 6th. So you want to check out all of those things and make sure that you sign up or you invite others to sign up as well. And uh, finally today, we know it's Mother's Day. And, uh, you know, happy Mother's Day. But I also know for some of the folks to hear those words, it, it, it brings a different uh, thing in your soul and in your heart. So it brings up different emotions and those get magnified in this season. And also then we've got the stressors of COVID and what motherhood means for those who are teachers and then working full time and also trying to take care of their children and, you know, help them at home. It's, a, it's pretty crazy. So I'd like to offer this prayer for women of all stripes on this day. And uh, so would you pray with me? To the moms who are struggling, to those filled with incandescent joy, to the moms who are remembering children who have died and pregnancies that miscarried, to the moms who decided other parents were the best choice for their babies, to the moms who adopted these kids and loved them fierce, to those experiencing frustration or desperation in infertility, to those who know they never wanted kids and the ways they have contributed to our shared world. To those who mothered colleagues, mentees, neighborhood kids, and anyone who needed it. To those remembering moms no longer with us. To those moving forward from moms who did not show love or hurt those they should have cared for. Today is a day to honor the unyielding love and care for others we call motherhood. Wherever we may find it and in whatever ways we have found to cultivate it within ourselves. So God, our Father, bless all these women we have named. Give them grace on this day for their lives, that they may live and love well in your name, in Jesus' name. Amen. The majority of that prayer came from Hannah Carden, pastor at Elston Avenue United Methodist Church. So it's a beautiful prayer that kind of reminds us of all the grace that God gives us no matter our situation. So be blessed and enjoy worship today. I'll talk to you later.